Throughout history, the formula for the Porsche 911 has been pretty simple. Two doors, rear engine, flat six, rear wheel drive, and a slinky shape. And now the newest version has arrived. This is the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera S, the 992, and it is the best 911 ever. So we are currently in the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. That's the all wheel drive model. It is the fastest version of the 992 available right now. It will get to 60 in under 3.5 seconds. If you have the Sport Chrono package like we do, it is a very, very quick car. It's an upgraded version of the three liter twin turbocharged flat six that was in the 991, the last generation Carrera. It has about 450 horsepower, sounds fantastic, revs very, very willingly. And when you come up to roundabouts like this, you're able to scoot out into tight gaps and get through what you want to get through. But it also doesn't feel terribly dramatic or difficult to drive if you're just puttering along on a B road like I am right now. If you turn it, turn this little knob here and put it into Sport Plus, hit this button to select manual mode, the drama picks up quickly. The 992 is plenty quick. It is every bit the sports car, but it doesn't feel all that much faster than the 991. This is a new generation according to Porsche, but everything feels very incremental. But those incremental changes that the, that the company made, when taken as a whole, it has a much bigger effect on the overall car. It's little stuff, really, really little stuff that I'm talking about. Porsche changed the brake pedal has less travel now. It's made of some kind of composite. I've heard varying answers from carbon fiber to carbon fiber reinforced plastic, and we're trying to find get to the bottom of that. But the result is that, especially when you have carbon ceramic brakes like this test car does, the brake pedal feels immensely satisfying to get on hard. The pedal feel is great, but there's not a lot of pedal travel, but it is incredibly communicative. You, you feel the pedal, you feel the little sensations, the amount of grip le that you have left in the front tires, the amount of brake that you have, braking force that you have left. It's very, very enjoyable and satisfying to get into onto the brakes hard ahead of a corner. This car also features Porsche's rear wheel steering system. This is something that Porsche has been toying around with for some time, but its effect on this car is dramatic. It is tighter and more agile and much more composed too especially on tighter bends and at speed. Well, I spent most of my day with this C4S, I did take out a C2S that was much less well-equipped than this one. It didn't have nearly as many performance goodies as this car has. It was also probably a good bit cheaper, but that's beside the point. And it never felt quite as satisfying. It never felt as happy when pushed hard. It's not to say it was bad, but this car is just so competent when it's optioned out correctly that going through the options catalog is really a very important part of buying a 911. Now that might mean for some of you waiting until you have a available manual transmission. As you can see, I am using the paddle shifters on this eight speed PDK. It's excellent. The PDK is unquestionably one of the best automatic transmissions on the planet, possibly the best automatic transmission on the planet. It's fast, it's smart, that was two gears that I just dropped right there, two of the eight. It, it isn't, there's no histrionics like there are in some other automatic transmissions. It just does the job. And we take it out of manual mode and put the car back into normal. It's still quick on the downshifts and on the upshifts. It's very, very, very easy to live with this transmission every day. I know we're purists and we like the manual transmission. We like to shift ourselves and all that stuff but that wouldn't stop me from buying the 911 today. Now, one of the features that has kind of caused some confusion or misunderstanding is the 911's new wet mode. And I agree, I, don't, I didn't really see the point when I heard about it. I, a wet mode, why wouldn't you just slow down and not drive like a buffoon? But wet mode does more than that. It makes the 911 feel far more stable. Shortly before I filmed this video, I, got the chance to drive a another 911 Carrera S 
on a wet handling course. It was basically a go-kart course with some sprinklers. And we switched between, we started out in wet mode, then went to Sport Plus, then went back to wet mode again. And the difference was staggering. Wet mode gave so much confidence. It made driving so much easier, so much simpler. I didn't need to think about, you know, do I have enough grip right now? I was just able to go. You could still feel the car wanted to step out a little bit and wanted to have a little bit, little bit of fun, but it was almost like an enhanced stability control system. It just felt better. The 992 isn't some crazy revolution. It is small, little, deliberate changes designed to make a more engaging sports car better. Incremental changes have been key to the 911 since its birth. And the 992 is no different. It's full of small little things that add up to big improvements in a smarter driving car. If you've been holding off on a 911, and you shouldn't have been, this is the one to get.